I just okay. talked to Tim. And we know who you are, but tell us your first and last name and your title one more time with Sarasota Police. Uh, Todd Cheddar, I'm a police officer with City of Sarasota. T O D D? T O D D. C H E D D A R? No, T S C H E T T E R. Okay, there you go. Um, so go ahead and tell us. Uh, you get this call about a snake, and you're the one that actually picks up the boa, or what happened? Well, basically, we got a call right out of shift briefing this morning uh, saying that a lady had found a snake in her porch, inside her screened-in porch. Uh, when we got there, the snake was actually outside the porch, just on the edge of the rocks. Uh, once we saw it, he was about a four-foot boa constrictor. Uh, we basically just took a pole. I went to put it on his head so I could pick him up, and he balled up. So I just used a pole to hook his uh, loop on him. And Officer Gleason, who was the only one uh, brave enough to hold the pillowcase that uh, Miss uh, Clifton provided for us, uh, held the case open. We dropped him inside the case and tied him up. So you get called to a lot of things, and nor a lot of calls, and you normally don't know what you're going to, right? Right. Everything's different. Every day is a different, different call, different situation. Have you ever had to respond to a snake call before? I think we were just discussing that this morning. This is, I think, the third one that I've had in 25 years. How is this one different than maybe the other ones? It was the first boa constrictor. The other one was, you know, just a black snake, small little thing. But uh, this guy was had a little beef to him. Did he give up a good fight? Or? No, no. He balled up. Like I said, as soon as I touched him, he balled up, and you are able to pick him up and put him in a pillowcase. Um, I guess this is a good warning to people who may have these boa constrictors as pets because I'm guessing this was a pet. Um, he appeared to probably be a pet. He was a very uh, pretty snake as far as as much as a snake could be pretty, but uh, he was well cared for it looked like. Uh, they got to keep an eye on their cages, keep them secured, and also people when you walk your pets you never know what you're going to walk across. I mean this thing could have easily taken a, a cat or a small dog that you know there's an apartment complex that we were at so you gotta pay attention. How was the homeowner reacting? Did she seem frightened, scared? She's from Ohio. Everybody told her about uh, alligators here in Florida, and she never thought she'd see a boa constrictor. So she was the one in the background on the videos, kind of screaming a little bit when we actually picked him up and put him in a bag. Okay. Um, I guess. Are you guys trying to figure out if this is anybody's pet? Well, I guess that'd be animal services. Right. We dropped. We uh, had animal services came to the scene and picked him up. Uh, if there's a chip in him, they'll be able to tell if it's a pet if somebody actually put a chip in him. Uh, otherwise, they'll probably keep him until a day or two to see if somebody's going to claim him. Other than that, I'm not sure what the protocol for the sheriff's department is. I'm done. When you first heard that what you were going to go do, what did you think? It wasn't my first one, so I mean, I wasn't. I was one of the few guys that were working that weren't turning the other way, going, "No, I'm not touching a snake." Yeah. So I was in K9. So was the officer Gleason that was with me before. So animals aren't a problem for us. So we just naturally decided to go for it. What was the actual call, though? The call was a lady with a snake in her back porch. So you had no idea what kind of snake. What kind of snake now? Yeah, as soon as we saw it was a bow constrictor, it kind of obviously took some of the stress off, being that it's a non-poisonous and, you know, the worst you'll get at them is a little bit of a mark. Mm -hmm. Was this one of your first calls of the day? It was the first call of the day. Yeah, that's and, really good. Fun <laughs> way to start the day. It starts your day, yep. And did you actually explain how you caught it? I carry a pole, probably a four-foot pole in my car. I uh, usually use it for dog calls, something with a, a loop on it so that you can get a hold of a dog by its neck and uh, without having it be able to reach you. So my plan was to put the pole on his neck so that I could then grab a hold of his neck. Well, as soon as I touched him, he balled up and he had a loop on the top, so I just stuck the pole through the loop, picked him up, and dropped him inside the pillowcase. What kind of training do you guys get for that? We have no official training for snake wrangling. So, but you didn't want to touch him. My initial plan was to stop his head so that I could actually grab a hold of him and pick him up, yes. But the fact that you did touch him tells me you were scared of him? No, I wasn't scared of him. Did I want to get bit by him? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, do you have proper training for this? Like I said, we, we have no official training on this. I've ridden, I've been here 25 years. I, I have several friends that are wildlife officers. I've done rides with them numerous times. I've captured turtles and other wildlife with them. So, I mean, it, it wasn't a big deal as soon as I saw it wasn't a poisonous snake. All right. Good. Yep. Yep. Sweet.
switch you for Officer Maya Taylor? I've been working with Sarasota Police Department since May 2012. 15, I'm sorry. Oh, edit that. That's okay, don't worry, don't worry. So you, what did you think today when, when this call came out? Well, I, I'm a little bit afraid of snakes, so I wasn't as excited as Officer Cheddar to go see it. Um, so you go out there with Officer Cheddar, right? Yes. What kind of happens? What do you see when you're out there? Well, they arrived first, um, him and his partner, and were able to put the snake in the bag before I arrived. But as I arrived, I held the bag after they captured it. When you're holding that bag and you see this boa constrictor going in, what, what are your thoughts? Well, I was glad the homeowner was happy, but I was a little bit afraid. Is this among one, one of the most unusual cases you've had since you started? So far, yes. Okay. Uh, what was your first initial reaction to knowing that uh, you guys were going to a call for a snake? I was a little bit afraid. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, you go out there a lot and you see a lot of stuff. Was this your first snake call? I don't yes, it was. That was my first snake call. I guess uh, you guys have to do a lot in a line of duty. Did you ever think you'd ever have to do this? I figured I would. I expected it. It's Florida, but I was still afraid of it. <laughs> what got you to work up the courage? Uh, the other officers present. Did you ever think about tasing them? No, that, that was not them? my thought. No. How do you feel about We wanted to save it. No. I, I felt okay holding it. I wanted to save the snake. So. You know, I think a lot of people have pets, and even even with snakes, you always want to handle those with care. Uh, were you a little uh, tentative, just uh, just being careful, just with uh, the animal and putting it in the bag? Oh, absolutely. We didn't want to let it fall or drop it down to the ground. So, uh, as we were waiting for Sarasota Sheriff's Department to come and retrieve it, we were definitely careful, especially where we placed it and left it at. So, if nobody claims this thing, are you going to claim it? No, sir. And why not? <laughs> I do not need a pet snake. You guys all good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. All right.